uh, yeah. So I want to read this line because I like this line. Susan uh, Sontag was one of the cancer biologists, she died, but she was the person who spent her life on cancer research and could not be succeeded. And that's why she told one thing, illness is the right, right, right side of life. A more onerous citizenship, more solid citizenship. Everyone is born holds dual citizenship in the kingdom of the well and in the kingdom of the sick. It is true, we belong to two domains. But although we all prefer to use only the good passport, sooner or later, good passport with, with good health. Sooner or later, each of us is obliged, at least for a spell, to identify ourselves as citizens of that other place, which is the place of ill. What happens when you take, when you take meal, your sugar level goes up. This is the normal. This is the, the homeostasis of the sugar. Sugar is between 90 to 120 milligram per deciliter. But it shoots up to maybe up to 300, up to 280 milligram per deciliter. Once you take a meal within 30 minutes, within 30 minutes, it is very regular in almost in every human being. Then it comes down at 120 minutes to what we call it PP, prostrandial peak. And it comes down here at the base level at, at two hours. This is very, very uniform in every human being has. On the, it goes to the different uh, tissues like skeletal muscle cells, adipocyte, and also to the liver. I'm not giving here liver why? Because prostrandial peak, this sugar does not go to the liver. There's a misconception sometimes. This sugar never enters into the liver. Liver man definitely get glycogen synthesis and other for the sugar utilization, but postprandial peak is not taking over. If this is being a problem, what happens? You get you get a hyperglycemia. And this is known as diabetic subject. And if this is diabetic subject, maybe two or two types, two types of diabetes we are getting. One is type 1, which is insulin dependent. When beta cell is non functional, beta cells are destroyed, insulin level goes down, and that is type 1, which is only 3 to 5 percent. This is not a this is not an epidemic disease. This is the epidemic disease where hyperglycemia is there, but not due to the dart of the insulin. So it's a very interesting phase of the type 2. Please understand. Inside, your sugar level is going high. But it is not coming into the blood. Why? Because insulin level is also going high. So excess of insulin takes care of that internal sugar. A cohort which is known as hyperinsulinemia, but euglycemia. That means glycemic level is normal, but insulin level is high. And once you do not feel that you are sick, you will not go to the doctor or doctor clinician anyway. So person is not feeling that he or she is sick because the insulin glucose level is normal. And this phase is dangerous. This phase is known as the phase of insulin resistance. And this phase is the disease major problem that we cannot tackle insulin resistance. Why you cannot tackle? Because the patient does not know. Nobody, no clinic ever measure anything like insulin. Because no patient will go. Number one, if patient goes, they measure glucose. If patient goes, they measure glucose, fasting glucose and postprandial glucose. This is the this is, this is the patient profile. Nobody measure insulin. But actually, unless you measure insulin, you do not understand whether the patient is type 1 or patient is type 2. Because you may have hyperglycemia and euglycemia, but a time will come, euglycemia and hyperinsulinemia, but a time will come when we have hyperinsulinemia and also hyperglycemia. Then diabetes is caught, diabetes is being captured. This is when you go to the doctor. So by that time, disease has already settled. That means your insulin, hyperinsulin is unable to take care of the hyperglycemia anymore. 
I'm telling you the example. Normally we have about 50 to 10, 20 microgram per deciliter in sugar. All right? It goes on increasing. It goes to 70, 80, like this. But subject is normal. They will never be anywhere. So this is insulin resistance phase, which is a danger, so we cannot take care of this. But when it is detected, this is an advanced problem. And why this is occurs? Not due to carbohydrate, not due to glycemic. Once your carbohydrate goes up, you are suffering. But it does not occur due to carbohydrate. It occurs due to lipid. Next time. So what I can even say here that if the circulatory free fatty acid level goes up, I'm calling free fatty acid and not the other fatty acid like TG, it goes up, insulin resistance occurs due to loss of insulin sensitivity. And what is this insulin sensitivity? Insulin sensitivity is this. When you do your research, you measure insulin sensitivity. How do you measure insulin sensitivity? That means 10 nanometer insulin in a cell-free system will work. <laughs> But it cannot work. You have to go to 30, 40, 50, 70. That means you're increasing your insulin. That's why it works. Very interesting ratio between the insulin and the receptor. I'm not going to tell you because there's a doubt of time. I'll go quickly. But one thing is important. It is because of the high fat. You reduce your fat, your insulin response will be increasing. Your insulin sensitivity will be increasing. So fat is the major thing. So you this thing, improvement of insulin sensitivity if the FFA goes down. There are three target tissue of insulin because the, the receptor are more rigorously, or vigorously found in this three, three tissue, adipose, skeletal muscle, cell. Now two diseases are side by side. Try to understand these two diseases what? One is blood pressure and there is diabetes. And you often find that diabetic persons are having suffering from the blood pressure. So now today has come when clinicians are recognizing diabetes as a cardiovascular problem disease. Because both are occurring in the same patient in majority cases. Number two, why they are occurring? Because both are being precipitated, both are being affected because of the excess of lipid. It is excess of lipid which causes the insulin resistance it is the excess of lipid which causes blood pressure. So now, so if you develop a drug for the diabetes, that drug may overlay with the hypertension. Now, question is, this is an important system because who manages lipid? And I went to one after another university, believe me, chapter of lipid is not taught. Believe me. Why? It is very complicated. No teacher it takes that part. Okay? So it is better. Students are very happy if you teach molecular biology. Sir, I am doing molecular biology. Disease is not molecular biology. Disease is because of the pain. So, but nobody reads it. Nobody teaches it. Nobody knows about the lipid. Everybody is ignorant of lipid. But two major diseases are going on because of it. What a country. What a students. What are teachers. Who will do this? I'm surprised to my country. Everybody is working on diabetes, but no knowledge of it. If I do not know, how can I develop that? So it is lipid which is responsible. What are the doctor? I was going, just telling you a fact. In the morning flight, by the side of me, there was a person before the breakfast came, he just opened it, took his pant out like this and took a short injection. Then I mildly told him, are you diabetic? He said, yes. Then the breakfast came. He did not touch the sweet, but he took the butter with this. <laughs> then, I told him that uh, you are taking insulin shot, you must be highly diabetic. Yes, I am highly diabetic, my vision is already going, and uh, I am really suffering. But you have not touched the sweat. Yes, my doctor told me not to touch the sweat. No carbohydrate, no rice, uh, no sweet, 
everything in Britain. I said, but you have taken fat, you have taken butter. Well, no, my doctor never told me. Your doctor never told us about that, it's true. So I said, I am telling you not to take it, it will aggravate your disease. He said, are you a doctor? I said, no, I am a biologist, I am a researcher. I am a biologist, biologist, you can tell me. Oh, forget <laughs> so our place in the society is very bad. And you see, the problem is with us that you cannot convince that you are researchers. This is number one. So if you ask them, reduce your lipid, you will get the result immediately. Reduce your lipid, get the result. I am giving you 100% guarantee if the lipid is reduced in your circulatory system, you do not have blood pressure, you do not have diabetes. So develop a drug which will reduce the lipid. Why do you want so much of all these things? Why you are not going with lipid? Because you don't know lipid. Because you don't read lipid. You don't consider lipid. You don't understand what is saturated fatty acid, how many saturated fatty acids, what are the wrong chain saturated fatty acids, what are the wrong chain unsaturated fatty acids, what are the fatty acids which are good for you, what are bad for you, what is TG, what is lipoprotein, what is all this, what is LDH, what is LDH, you don't, too much of bad things and you cannot take it. So you don't take it and you want to study it. If you don't do it, tell me, if you don't touch the cause, cannot cure the disease. You can't. So that's what I am coming next. What we find, interestingly, whenever there is excess of lipid, and I was discussing with some of your students, they are also telling you, you get large size of adipocyte. Adipocyte has the most naive cells in the body. Nobody works in India with adipocyte. But this is the center of two diseases. Believe me, this secret I can tell in front of everybody, because in our country, if you want something good, you never tell to another because he might get the Nobel Prize. So never discuss. We have something, ah, I will not tell him because he will take it away. So much of fear. So much of fear of knowledge expansion. So much of secrecy, but nothing ill. No Nobel Prize, no Nobel drug, no Nobel machine, not a single, so much IITs, not a single good equipment. Not even a PhD that in our country which you can rely on. But IITs, brilliant students coming out. Increase of IITs, brilliant students are going out. Where they are going? They are ultimately going out. So this is us. We are filling up the gap in good information and persons. Another thing came with the test. This is increasing. That is uh, the informatics, right? So informatics is increasing. Without the, without the practical science that is coming out in very much. Again, it is a very theory. Now, one thing I am telling you. You see the difference with diagnosis. This is an instrument, not much, very much, about 13, 14 lakhs. But you get the image of the cells, you get the number of cells, you get the size of the cells, you get the population of the cells with a single shot, known as tally. So tally, you see the number of cells are given here in the control, much more, 10 times more. Number of cells in the control, these are the two diabetes. One is HFD that I was discussing, high fat diet. You give high fat diet and produce a diabetes. I am not going in detail later on, we can discuss. Another is GBGB or OBOB. These cells are GBGB. This is regarding the leptin receptor in the brain. And this leptin receptor in the brain, which is for your hunger. That means if leptin receptor is not occupied by the ligand, then you are always hungry. If it is occupied, your hungerness goes. So if you omit the leptin receptor or ligand, leptin, leptin is the hormone which is from adipocyte. As it goes right, it is a vacuum. Just look at it. Nucleus and cytoplasm is almost only on the 10% of the cell. 90% of the cell is only vacuum. So this cell is controlling two diseases anybody is going to believe. Now, Proteomic Journal published a paper last year, 347 proteins are being synthesized with these cells with that, that kind of genes and as a result of which we find about 38 adipokines which regulates the other organ including your liver, including your heart, including your muscles, including all the 
kidney, all this. So adipokines, knowledge of adipokines are so, so little. We do not know how many hormone comes out, what are the adipokines. Adipokines are the kinds which are gene are in the adipocyte. Proteins are secreted, coming by the circulation to liver, to skeletal muscle, and allow the carbohydrate to take, and allow the lipid to manage. So they manage the lipid, the most important element of disease, the adipokines, adiponectin, AP2, CD36, FAB4, etc. Anyway, I will not go far. But you can see the size. Once this hypertrophy of adipocyte occurs, size occurs, and hyperplasia reduces, that means number of cells reduces, you are in a disease. Because they cannot uptake the lipid. They cannot store the lipid properly. Where the lipid will come? It will come to the surface. And that exactly happens in hyper, hypertrophy, uh, the, in, the, in the case of the hypertension and in the case of the diabetes. It comes into the circulation. It goes to the liver, uh, muscle, it goes to the liver, producing fatty liver, and insensitive to the, to, the, to the carbohydrate metabolism and lipid metabolism, which does mean. You see, next slide, as a result of that, this, this binds, there's the increase of triglyceride, increase of free fatty acid, and also there's the increase of blood glucose. This is exactly the diabetic condition. In case of the diabetes, you get hyperglycemia, hypercirculatory level, hyper teaching level. So these are the symptoms came out of this. You reduce this, you reduce this, glucose will be also reduced because sensitivity to uptake glucose will increase in skeletal muscle. Remember this. So, uptake of glucose postprandial have shown it. 90% goes to the skeletal muscle. About 10 to 12% goes to the adipocyte, not in liver. So storage also is very difficult if there is high, if there is fat acid level is high in the skeletal muscle. Now you see the uptake is also reduced in the adipocyte. Sorry. Yeah. So as a result, another thing you notice here. When the adipocytes are hypertrophic, what they do? They, they secrete fatty acid, known as fatty acid effluent. You say pathology, which is, you can imagine, it is lipid, which is important, and lipid is coming into the circulation from adipocyte. Instead of storage, they secrete lipid. Next. Uh, this is the condition that I got from the hospital. You know, we worked with PT hospital and they give us the human tissue. You can see the non-diabetic adipocyte and diabetic adipocyte. Clear vision that they are non-active or inactive adipocyte does not take lipid up but going out. Next. Coming with the, the, the dimension which is coming up now that there is a gene, there is a protein which coming out of the hyperlipidemic condition. When the lipid is high, this gene is expressed and that we report in by MJ that is Lipid induces the gene expression of fetuin A, the protein, known as Harman Schmidt protein. They discovered it. And now it is found to be very important for cell inflammation. And fetuin A is responsible for inflammation. Now please know both diabetes and cancer and also hypertension are known as inflammatory diseases. Because inflammation is the major cause of the disease. If you reduce the inflammation, you are free from the disease. Lipid is responsible for inflammation, but lipid not directly, but indirectly. I am coming to it. And one of the indirect members is fetuin A. So fetuin A links lipid with the inflammation. How it lipids with the inflammation? And once inflammation is there, there is diabetes. Inflammation is there, there is blood pressure. And also now gradually coming up with the cancer. Now, I am not telling much of, about this, but now it was linked to it, uh, at one time it was suggested that this particular locus, 3Q27, which is this chromosome, which is fetuin A, is linked to that. But nobody could show in the next, next slide. What we have found is interesting, and this was uh, that DBDB mice, you can already see, you can see the fetuin A concentration. You can see the expression of the fetuin A gene. Here also you can see the fetuin expression of protein and gene 
So fat winner is high. Why fat winner is so high? You reduce the fat winner, immediately there is no insulin sensitivity is there, diabetes will be reduced. So that's why he found the fat winner may be a good target because lipid causes increase of fat winner. Then if you knock out fat winner, if you eliminate fat winner, you give increase of high energy diet, there is no diabetes. So apostle fat winner is the marker. And Fetuina has been found out recently by NEMI. The Journal of Obesity, which is coming out from NPT Group, has reviewed the Fetuina, a long review, said, yes, this appears to be the mark. In our country, how many people who work with diabetes knows about the Fetuina is a good marker for the disease? And also, if you suppress the Fetuina, you'll be eliminated out of the danger of the diabetes. Now, it is also coming with the blood pressure. This report came. That fat winner damaging the cardiomyocytes, that means the muscle cells. So you are prone to have a cardiac problem. Next, I'm not telling all these things. So fat winner, we found that fat winner reduces the genes. These are the genes. You can see genes like PPR gamma, which which increases adiponectin, adiponectin, AP2, FAT. These are the these are the target genes of the PPR gamma and not the father. They are responsible for the lipid management. If they are in good condition, your lipid will be managed. You take high energy food, doesn't matter, they will take care of it. But if they are going down with PPR gamma, PPR gamma is the transcription factor of these genes. Now, then you are prone to diabetes, then you are prone to this. Surprisingly, Fetune is responsible for this down regulation. And we'll see later on, this is a protein, this gene, same thing. So, these most important adipokines, which are regulated by the PPR gamma, which is a factor, a transition factor, they are, when impaired, due to high lipid, now we know due to fetuine, immediately there is a problem. Next. How fetuine works? What is the pathway? Very interesting part of Taylor 4. I don't know much about it, I think many of you know. Toad like receptor. It was first discovered in the case of the fly, and where they found this is a pattern recognition. Dorsal ventral side is recognized by the Taylor 4 receptor. Later on, we found that it is found in human beings also, and toad like receptors are responsible for inflammation and for sensing influence. Suppose there is a LPS, which is lipopolysaccharide coming from bacteria and etc. And ultimately, that causes the inflammation through toll like receptor. The toll like receptor is associated with the inflammation. Now, lipid is associated with the inflammation. Fetune is associated with the inflammation. Toll like receptor is associated with the inflammation. And now, how this could be arranged together? Next step. You see, LPS is known for a long time, it binds to the toll like receptor and make NF kappa B act. It's a transcription factor activation which is responsible for these genes, these proteins, which are known as DNF-alpha, IL-6, IL-beta. These are known as cytokines, pro-inflammatory cytokines. They cause the inflammation. They are the responsible for inflammation. If they go up, immediately there will be diseases like inflammation, and these diseases like diabetes, like blood pressure, and also it causes a number of other inflammations, including number of, uh, like asthma and arthritis also. Most obnoxious. If you see their obnoxious, why in life we develop this kind of excess, this of alpha and all this thing, the disease? How it came? It's not for that. When the bacteria enters in our body, we want inflammation. Why? We want the high blood should run, excess of blood should run with the repertoire system so that we can tackle the bacteria. That's why the inflammatory cytokines developed in our body. Now it is in excess, it produces this kind of bad diseases. But when you find this, we, what we found? We found that fetuin A takes the lipid with it, it produced from the adipocyte. Fetuin A also produced from the liver and adipocyte both. And it has TLR4 receptor. And it binds to the TLR4 receptor, it produces NF kappa B activation, an excess of this inflammatory cytokines, which produces insulin resistance, and insulin resistance produces diabetes. So link is this, the excess of lipid, Taylor 4, get together, 
because lipid gates only can get through fetuinine. Fetuinine A is the carrier. Our idea is it is the albumin which creates the fat, but six times more fetuinine A takes with it. So it takes lipid, present it to the TLR4. TLR4 produces inflammation through pro inflammatory cytokines. And once this is there, disease is there. So disease is there. You can interfere in it with any kind of drug, so you have known that this is the pathway. Right? I am not going through this gene technology, etc. Only thing what I want to tell, go, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, only thing is that Taylor 4 and uh, this is the all, you know, SPR, co inhibition and this particular dropout system in case of the genetic engineering, we did this particular uh, gal, gal promoter, uses it to see where fetuin exactly binds with the Taylor 4. Otherwise, good journal will not take. So we have to take it for this purpose. It binds to the N terminal, not to the C terminal, and not to the outer, only to the extracellular domain, and not to the intracellular domain. All this we done it. TLR4 fetuinase binding is very strong, and TLR4 fetuinase binding occurs when fetuinase occupies the fatty acid. So fatty acid and TLR4, if they are not together, TLR4 do not recognize. So both are very important for the two disease, blood pressure and diabetes. Yes. Uh, this is only the same thing. It is the adipocyte which produces uh, this uh, fetuin and here it comes here and ultimately takes fatty acid with it and binds to here, produces the And then there is the animation. You click it here. So the inflamed adipose tissue means when it is hypertrophic, more, uh, more lipid but less absorption, less uptake. So this is the inflamed, non functional adipocyte but pathogenic adipocyte. Not only non functional, they are responsible for the pathogen city. Next, next slide. Here, I just want to tell you that what happens is that the fetuinated for binding reduces the, it is the insulin which reduces the gene expression of IL6 and, uh, and also the TNF alpha, etc. But once fetuinated binds with the D, it all increases like this, expression of insulin. Here is an interesting system. I think your laboratory is doing the diabetic assay. You can use this system, it is a very important system to understand the diabetes, to understand the insulin resistance. The system has changed today. It is a plasmid, which is known as which is a chimeric plasmid. Plasmid is form of GLUT4 and GFP. What is GLUT4? The system is this insulin binds to the receptor, it sends the message to different kinases. And kinases are like insulin IRS1 kinases like PI3 kinases, like PDK1, like ACT or protein kinase B and then there is a glucose transporter, GLUT4, GLUT1, GLUT3 like this but GLUT4 is mainly. So GLUT4 is phosphorylated by ACT, GLUT4 goes to the membrane, takes the glucose and sets the glucose. In diabetic patient problem is glucose is not entering, simple disease and GLUT4 is not also moving. So what is the problem? Problem is GLUT4 is not being phosphorylated. Once GUT4 is not phosphorylated, it will not move. So as a result, it will not come. You see, if you develop that you give certain things, ultimately insulin gives, insulin is not working, what will happen? GUT4 will not move. Right? So if GUT4 does not go to the membrane, glucose cannot come. So in diabetic patient, first of all, GUT4 gene expression is lessened. Second, GLUT4 movement, translocation is also a problem. Here, this GFP GLUT4 plasmid, if you transfect into the cells, it will locate the GLUT4 because it is a green fluorescence protein and GLUT4 movement can be tracked. And if insulin cannot work, what will happen? GLUT4 will not move. So this plasmid is very important. We have the plasmid. We are using it. Suppose this is the control. To give insulin, what will happen? Group 4 will move to the membrane. Right? So this is the insulin function. Insulin will not function in the presence of fetuin A and also FFA. If you get fetuin A plus insulin with FA, of course fatty acid should be there. Then insulin is there, but it is not working. This is a typical as a system which will give you the impression that why insulin is working, you can work on this particular plan. 
that if you give with insulin particular drug with fetilinia, and if that can make move, then you are in a good good stand. So this is a good as a system, dependable as a system, not by glycemic level only, but also for GLUT4 translocation. So GLUT4 moves between two insulin. GLUT4 cannot move because of FETA and FF. You can see this. Even if insulin is there. So this is a wonderful system. Now another system I think we are discussing the other one, macrophage. This is an interesting system. I will not go for only two slides. Why? What is macrophage? Macrophage are the cells which are for the immunity. That you all know. It is a part of the innate immunity system. We know this. But macrophage is very important for diabetes. Very important for diabetes. Why? It is produces inflammation. Which macrophage produces inflammation? What happened? That macrophage, which is which has got more pro-inflammatory cytokines produced. And those macrophages are known as M1, I'm not going to detail. Anti-inflammatory cytokine produced by M2. So M2 population usually is high, which is anti-inflammatory. Pro-inflammatory is M1, so transformation occurs in the macrophage. Polarity occurs in the, in the macrophage. And this polarity is very important. What happened in diabetic patient, macrophage from the body moves towards the abdomen. Towards the abdomen. When this lipid attracts the excess of lipid, not only lipid, the extrusion of the lipid from adipocyte makes lipid deposition. This lipid invites macrophage and they go there. Well, who takes them there? There is a MCP1 on macrophage, monocyte derived chemoattractant protein 1 which takes them. Later on, it has been found by Olevsky group, no? It is only take 35 percent, 30 to 35 percent. Other macrophage moves by what we don't know. We found it is fetuine which also takes it. So macrophage went through this direction. Once they reach there, they are transformed from M2 or anti-inflammatory to pro-inflammatory. So they also produce pro-inflammatory cytokines, and that exactly happened in diabetes. We developed an assay. How to study it? You put a migration of the macrophage. And there is a void and chamber. There is a filter which is 0.5 micron. And cell is much larger than that. It will not go until unless the attractant is there. So the attractant is there, it will break that barrier and ultimately enter through it, known as chemo attractant. So not the size of the pore, but excess size of the pore even cannot stop, stop them. They enter through it and go out, go inside. Cell size changes. You see here that here control, these are the only the pores, and in fetuin A, they enter, go to the other side. MC1 go to the other side, go to the other side. This is wonderful as what happened? This is the membrane, this is a sketch. Fetuin A is given here, cells are given here, and you give fetuin A into the here, cells go and go to migration to the other side. Showing the migration of the cells towards fetuin A. So fetuin A is a chemo attractant. Similarly with the MCP1. They go to the other side. And we found there is a synergism between the two. That means both of them are attracting macrophage there. But interestingly, it is not MCP1, but fetuin A converts them from M1 to M2. So this is CD1 cell, CD11 C plus, which is a marker for the pro inflammatory macrophage. And you can see there is increasing number. But if you give a drug, mm, I may have almost finished this one. Yeah. Oh, so if you give a drug, what is the drug? If the drug is appropriate, what will happen? Macrophage concentration migration will be reduced, conversion will be reduced to, to anti inflammatory, pro inflammatory. So, this is another marker for type 2. That macrophage wins the macrophage converts to pro inflammatory type and aggravate the disease, aggravate the inflammation. So, if you can stop M2 to M1, it's a wonderful drug. But one thing, if you can stop fetuin A, conversion of M2 to M1 will not occur. So, you see how beautiful marker is fetuin A for recovering the disease. Next. Now, this is, a, this is another thing that is, this is a inflammatory macro, uh, adipocyte. They produce fetuin A, 
Vitamin is also produced by the liver. They attract the macrophage. Well, they attract the macrophage. This is the vitamin goals. They attract the macrophage. But with MCP1, MCP1 is also there. And not only that, they are transformed into pro inflammatory type. Of this Next slide. So, up to this, these are the publications in these lines and from our laboratory that we did. I will not go which is done what, but next. These are the people who worked with me, Shuma, Mithika, Sundeep, Shuma, and later on changes, but we worked with Shubhi, Shubhanto, and also. Yeah, so this is some part of our laboratory where we have the cell culture laboratories here. You can see this is the cell culture laboratory. I'm coming to the next part, which I finished within a few days, a few minutes. Next part is what models we are using. You can be acquainted for development of the drug. And these models are related to, um, I think, uh, Dr. Bontu Bhuja has also one, uh, one thing that is in, we have developed together. This is anti arthritic model. So that model is, until you can develop drug only, you have a dependable model system. And dependable model system is very important. Without developing model in a consistent way, people go to check that drug, which is wrong. And if you go, ultimately at one time you will be frustrated. So, yeah. So experimental models for drug development, I'll go quickly because there's very few times and we cannot discuss, I want discussion. You see that HDHFG mice in the abdomen fat increases here. And you can see, you can check it, the population is more of this size, okay? This one side, next. And this is a model, this is a chemical which is developed by Professor Meet Chogri of Tech uh, University. He's an inorganic chemist but developed a molecule known as vanadium compound, but excellent molecule. And these are the excellent data that we have given. It's non-toxic found in DRL laboratory. And this is a fantastic term. We can check it in this model system next. In both DVD and etc. We have also checked how it is being talking, doing this and entering. It's like insulin magnetic. It, it acts as a receptor, occupies the receptor as good as the case of the insulin. And you can see this is a fluorescence data. This is done by the Tushar Mighty of the RCP. So it's a cooperative work. And next. So it is like insulin, very good thing. We are discussing all the you can you can skip it. All these are you can see that how beautifully it decreases the lipid, how beautifully it manages the lipid. Totally that. You can see that HFD ultimately going down the blood glucose level and also liquid level <coughs> remains quite a substantial time in the blood. Next. This is another model which is very interesting model I can discuss with you later on when is oil over it staining. How much of lipid is uptake and if you have don't radioactivity. You have to don't handle the radioactivity. You take this oil over it and see the lipid granules under the fluorescence microscope or the ordinary microscope and measure that this. This is an acceptable one. Even in cell journal, it has been published. No, there is no problem. Next. So you can see how beautiful molecule he has because these are the market in the bana. Metformin is 500 to 250 uh, to, uh, milligram is given to the Rosiclidazone is 4 to 8 milligram. Pure glucosone is like this. These are the PPR gamma ligand, a PPR gamma activator so that adipokine is more. PPR gamma is activated, but till today we don't know how they increase PPR gamma. So they are marketed, but they are found to be adverse effect on the patient. <coughs> and they are banned in USA, they are banned in UK, but nicely going on in India. And this, these are and doctors are giving. So company is happy. India is a good market. They are selling it. Although it has a very bad effect on cardiac edema, water accumulation on heart. But even then it is going in the market. And I cannot suggest any diabetic patient, they will immediately argue me that you are not a doctor. So very difficult. So, Harmin is one thing which came into the cell. It is published in cell, the 30 milligram, but they have a problem. After this, when they check the drug, they found there is a hallucination. After a few days, mice cannot recognize his own food. It cannot go through, he is hungry, but it is running. So they ultimately found it produces hallucination. So this drug was found to be very good, but ultimately this effect will go for supplement of heroin, but not drug, because it is producing a hallucination. So you see the adiporon, which is adiponectin occupation receptor, this is good, but it's high dose, which will not have You can understand that we cannot go. 
Another also same thing, mosquitoes and is not coming into the market because of the high requirement of the doses. Whereas it is only 0.3 milligram per kg body that we have tested. So this drug is almost at the it's a pure molecule. Problem with me to this drug, I'm telling you, going into the pure molecule, we have already passed almost seven years. We already need another three, three to four years to come into the market. By the time I will also die, maybe. But thing is, pure molecule has a problem. It cannot come before 10 to 12 years into the market. It will be of several questions you have to face. You have very difficult, rigorous restriction. But molecule is definitely good. Let us see what happens when it will come to the market. Next. We have another, uh, this, this is, uh, I, uh, I have already shown next. Oh no, one thing. This is a plant. 307 is a plant. And this is a fantastic material. I have never seen any kind of plant. This is an extract of a plant, of a particular extract which can remove fat like anything. It removes fat within 30 to 35 days of taking the ground. And also, the amount of administration is also very little. It is administration only about, about, about 150 microgram to 200 microgram. You can easily imagine that how beautiful it is. You see, this is the fat condition. This is a, whole abdomen is filled up with fat in HMT. HMT mice always have this. And adipocytes are in large, non-functioning. Not only that, pathogenic. They are producing inflammatory cytokines and producing insulin resistance. These mice recover within 35 days with this unbelievable. And you see the amount of fat decreases, almost like control. Next one. I will just tell you, you see this. This is HDB standard diet, normal fat in the abdomen, high fat with 307, you can see. And say the body weight, this is HMT body weight, it comes down to almost normal within, the, within you can see 30 to 35 years. It's fantastic. I mean, such a removal of lipid, anything which removes lipid is a, mil, is, is a, is a million dollar drug, which, which can remove it. In America, it's suffering from obesity. And obesity is, is a disease which is associated with not only with the blood, with the, with the diabetes, but also with the blood pressure. But obesity is so much in Europe and America that they're looking for a drug. And there is no practically drug which removes fat removal. So many things are coming out. In newspaper, you get so many things coming down fat within 30 days, within 40 days. Statin at one time was thought to be one of the good drugs which will remove the fat. But statin has bad effect on skeletal muscle, which gives you the strength to go. Skeletal muscles are becomes leaner. Skeletal muscles fibers are on the end points are getting weaker. As a result, their adhesiveness decreases. So statin nowadays, is, immediately your skin will be hanging after using about three, five years. Doctors or company, nobody will tell it. When patient suffers, you suffer. Now they are telling, yes, statin is bad. But it's long time already. Now, already people can't move after five years, they can't move like this, they have no strength because of the statin. They are reduced, but they can't go up properly. So what do you prefer? So preference come to the sufferer, that whether they will take drug or they will suffer. Now, next slide. Zebrafish is another model which we are trying to develop. Now it is appears to be developing because you can see that inflammatory cytokines are so much increased by means of a special drug that we develop. And drug not through food, which is uh, giving the result. Why we are zebrafish? Everybody is working with zebrafish. Why? Because you have human orthologs. You have genes, human proteins, which are found there, so we can possibly able to do that. Why I have come at the last paper to lap of my life to zebrafish because of mice and rat the, that thing was the Smitzer which is one of the important German American he's a top diabetologist in NIH told me one thing everybody is working with mice, rat, mice, rat, mice, rat everywhere knowing fully that they are highly away from the human they are not nearer to human. And it is true, many things in mice fail 
because it is not working in the case of the human being and their genes, their proteins are all different. So it is true. We have, don't have even 3 to 5 percent homology with, three to, oh, with the rat and mice. Still, they are easy to handle, easy to, easy to reproduce, easy to maintain the strain, easy to do the homogeneity of the strain. All these journals one, journals killing us many things. Anyway, now it is acceptable. So knockout and knockdown I was discussing with you is also preferred by the journals by means of the in vivo morphology of the gene. But it is highly toxic. Whether the effect comes out of the gene knockdown or because of the toxicity, I am, I am surprised. I, I oppose to the in vivo, but it is selling in the market. And they are taking knockdown is better than the knockout. So many things are very difficult. But yes, Jebrovich is a good model. I agree with you, everybody. I also pledge you to develop this model in this laboratory. And the trick is that that kind of trigger should be given for developing the diabetic Jebrovich. Many people try, but I think we will be able to succeed better than the people which has been reported. There are three papers came out in the journal about the Zebrafish diabetes. And once you do it, you are highly precious and ultimately you can reproduce and produce the same thing by means of, you know, it is very easy to mate the Zebrafish and produce the next generation. So I think next slide. This is another which is something new in our laboratory, oral cancer. The oral cancer cell not found in India. Nobody has. Why? Because ATCC, American type cell culture system, does not have oral culture. Now they possibly procured from a Korean. Two different groups are doing in Korea and Japan. We got it from Japan, Chakagami, he's a good friend of mine, we got it. And as a result, since we got it, we could work on the oral cancer. And oral cancer is so predominant in Northeast. And this is one of the oral cancer that are joining this. This is coming out from a plant, we name it at 208. You can see this work is going on still. It's excellent to work. It's excellently killing the cell and without touching the normal cell. So next, next. We are producing trunk cancer, which is a predominant oral cancer, by means of a chemical, and we have succeeded. Soma is one of the person who was really very, very strenuously and Hemanto Jadav is one of my laboratory assistants. Hemanto Jadav is class 8 plus. He is a class 8 plus laboratory assistant, but much better than many PhDs. So, yes, I am telling you much better than many. Can you take a mice in your hand and inject it? You can. And he will demonstrate you. He can do that. His handling of starting from zebrafish to this, any good company will get him, he will remunerate him like this. He has seen uh, Hemanto Jadav, he is a devotee of research work. His qualification we cannot give in any job, right? But company will not care, company can take them. Excellent person, he is now with the Jebra I am sure he will develop it. Because he somehow or other, he has some fifth eye or fourth eye, whatever it is, third eye. He can understand the animal system so well. Morphally, no, nobody gets success out of six, four, five dies. He is the person who can make three survive. His way of doing the things is enormously valuable. We don't want to lose him, but we don't have money, much money to support him also. And he is there. He developed with Shoma. I cannot give his name into the paper. We are utilizing him. Actually, Hemanto developed this, Shoma was with him. Now, this oral cancer development will be found in our laboratory. And uh, of course, we can provide this uh, in a Next. And this is the cancer. You can see, but we have uh, one thing is there that you can see the cancer and also retardation of the cancer by means of the drug. There's a case like this. Yeah. It is gone down. Next. Here. The, you can see the development of the cancer. And one of the things is there is a EGFR, epidermal growth factor receptor, which vigorously expressed, rather oncogenic express, of this gene, of this uh, receptor protein and gene in case of the oral cancer. 
So this is the most important thing. If you can suppress the EGFR receptor, you can tackle with the oral cancer. Because this is the predominant gene expression, oncogene expression occurs here. And this is going down in this particular chemical, 208. You can see almost EGFR in me is highly expressed in oral cancer. It is big, almost going down. Now, of course, gene expression is there, but protein we cannot locate. Something wrong between the transcription and the translation. There is something there. We have to find it out. In transcription, we get something. Here you can see here. There is a discrepancy. Appears to be discrepancy. It is there. But in translation, EGF is absolutely absent when they draw. We have to see if there is something in gap between the transcription and the translation line. With this, I think, no, the last one. Uh, if you have any question, so this is anti arthritis that uh, Dr. Motuya and me were and uh, all of us, mainly in PG, uh, MC Burwa, PK Burwa, Ronald Burwa, who is a doctor, but he's a very, very research minded. And all these people work with uh, this is the thing that uh, collagen induced arthritic model. And this model is according to Nature Protocol, which came out in 2007. I'm telling you again, again. Without Hemanto, it's very difficult to develop. And if you have to develop, I have to send Hemanto here, otherwise it is very difficult. So, he knows how to develop, although research scholars we take the credit, but actually it is He knows, and you see that collagen is highly, highly toxic if it is in high dose. But it produces the result, that means arthritis. It produces the arthritis. And we produce, nature protocol everybody knows, but very difficult to model it. Next. You see here that this is the doses that we have used day after day and already next one. You see the paw. Why is the control? When you see the blood vascular system is rapidly increasing with blood, you may be rest assured the arthritis is coming. Okay, this is the drug. So this is one of the signs that arthritis is developed. Next. Yeah, these are the group which are working, and she's still working the Panjang Vichan now to Dr. Muya here. Next. There is a there is a video that arthritis has really developed. It's the last one. So please bear with me about one minute. That is a, one minute to arthritis. Arthritic started but can't. You can see it is limping, it is killing. You can see it. And at the same time, we measured the proin rotary cytokines. And with the drug, it is okay. So, uh, again, with Dr. Montubuya and, uh, and our laboratory, I must one thing let you know that uh, NC Burwa, PK Burwa, who are with the project, in our laboratory, Shoma, Sandeep, and mainly Hemant Jadav. Model development is wonderful. Sundip is also very keen to develop the model. And uh, these are important, otherwise you cannot develop the drug. I am telling you the external features through which you can identify. And then you assay pro to cytokines and all these things, what is necessary. With this, I thank all of you for listening to this lecture.